we are starting a new chapter today and that is rotational motion or motion of a system of particles. So first we will understand the terminology we are going to use. Number one, what is a particle and what is a system of particle? Particle as it appears by the name is a single particle. When we say particle then we assume that there is no length, width and depth measurable uh, quantities in that body. Then it is a point mass and we will call it a particle. Okay. When this particle moves in a straight line, then this motion is known as linear motion. Okay. So this is a particle and linear motion. Sometimes a long train can be termed as a particle. How is it possible? That we have studied in the definition of point mass. If we are suggesting a case that a train is moving from Delhi to Bombay, the distance is very large and we see it on the map. On the map we see that a dot is moving from the spot of Delhi to spot of Calcutta. In that case it does not matter whether the train has got 10 compartments or 12 compartments or 15 compartments. So size of the train is immaterial if we consider the total distance travelled by the train. But the same train when it crosses a bridge then if it is a 10 compartment train it will take less time and if it is 15 compartment train it will take a longer time. Here in this example the size of the train does matter and in such case we will not term it as a point object. We will not term it as a particle. So whether to term something as a particle or not a particle it depends upon the total distance it is traveling the comparison of the two. If the size affect the motion then its size is considerable it is not a particle. But if the size does not affect its motion then it is a point object. When we take earth such a big surface of earth in galaxy. In the galaxy earth is like a particle, a point mass. So this is a comparative term but for our practical purposes what we define a particle which has got negligible length width but it exists. Okay. So that is a particle. When it moves in a straight line we call that this motion is linear motion. Now we will see what is meant by system of particles. System of particles in general language we give it the name body. There are so many particles and they are bound with each other with some or the other type of force, normally intermolecular force. And this distance is a constant distance and if I hold one particle and move it, all the particles will move with it. So that the distance between each particle remains same. If I accelerate one body, one particle, then all will get accelerated with the same acceleration in the same direction. Such a group is known as system of particles. Okay, so this group is system or body. In this body, we have again categorized it and one type of body will be known as rigid body. All our calculations are with reference to rigid body. Rigid body, when we are applying force on a body, the distance between the different molecules do not change. That remain constant and that is known as a rigid body. Like if this is the wood part and I press it here, the distance between this, this and this particle remains same, it will start moving. But if I have got a sponge with me and I press the sponge, 
this and this way the distance between the two particles become less then it is not a rigid body so what we are considering here is a rigid body and the motion of the rigid body okay so <clears throat> so system of particles will be known as a rigid body now this system of particles can also move in such a way that all the particles are moving in a straight line suppose this is a body which has got particles a b c and d and after some time we see that a is here b is here c is here and d is here and the whole body is here again it is a b c and d so all the particles have traveled same distance with the same velocity their distance remains same and this path is a straight line such type of motion is known as translational motion so when a single particle moves in a straight line we use the word linear and when a system of particles move in a straight line we use the word translational that is the difference otherwise both are linear it is multiple of this plural of this okay so this is system of particles but remember this order should be same and all should have same velocity so that order does not change that is translational motion now we come to the next thing and that is circular motion when a single particle moves in a circle in a circular path so that every time it is at a fixed distance from one point then the motion of this point p is known to be circular motion p is doing circular motion okay this way in circular motion we have already done in kinematics there are so many terms like linear motion the number one displacement when this radius that p is going from this point to this point the radius will move from this direction to this direction and this is the angle it has passed theta and this theta is displacement and it has taken certain time to move from here to here it has taken time t so in one second how much angle is made in one second angle made is theta upon t this we call its angular velocity omega the total time of rotation is taken as capital t time period of one cycle and in one second how many cycles it makes that is known as number of cycles frequency nu so these are the terms theta is one term omega is one term and then angular acceleration uh, we call it alpha angular acceleration that is change in velocity per unit time these are the terms we have studied in circular motion okay circular motion but when we use the term circular motion what we are referring circular motion for a particle not for a system now we come to the next what is system of particles if all the particles are making circular motion and what type of circular motion is that there is one particle which is making a circular motion and this is the center and it is making a circular motion like this there is another particle here this is also making a circular motion on this path and its center is here there is another particle which is making a circular motion this way and its center is here this center does not move it is a fixed point it is a fixed point it is a fixed point now in this system of particles there are one two three particles which are moving and in such a way that their centers are in one straight line that is a must if all the particles this 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 are moving in circular motion in such a way that their centers are in one straight line then this is making this is a system in this system this type of motion 
is known as rotational motion. So what is this? This is a system of particle. System of particles. Each particle moves in such a way that it completes one rotation in the same time because they should not change their distance. Whatever is the distance they have, that distance should not move. If these two particles, this and this, they are at a certain distance, 2 cm and this is making a circle, this is also making a circle. What is the distance now? The distance between them 2 cm, 2 cm, 2 cm. Then this is the system of particle which is making a rotational motion. Okay, so this is rotational motion where each and every particle is making a circle. Their angular velocity is same and their centers are making a common line, a straight line. This. Okay, it is possible that in place of moving it this way, it may move this way. Yes, again the same conditions are there. Now all the centers are located here, here, here. This particle makes a circle. This particle makes a circle. This particle makes a circle. Here is center, center, center. All center in the same line. This. So, is it necessary that it is here? No, maybe. These are the centers and now all these particles are making circles around it. So, during this circular motion, the distance between the each particle cannot change because it is a rigid body. All the centers have to be in a straight line. Automatically it has to be in a straight line. So, this type of motion is known as rotational motion. There are other properties of rotational motion that we will see in the next lecture. So, this is rotational motion. Now, in this what we see, is it changing its place? No. Here, if I tell you that the fan is on, what does it mean? Is the fan moving or not moving? If you say the fan is moving, then I ask you, it remains there itself, it is not moving to any distance. And if you say it is not moving, then I say the how the uh, air is coming, a fan is not moving. So what should be my answer for the switched on fan? I will say it is having a rotational motion, it is not having a linear motion. That is a appropriate answer in the language of physics. So when this point we will read it that there is a point called center of mass. If this point is making a linear motion, if center of mass is making a linear motion, then this motion is of course linear or translational. If more particles, then it is translational. For one particle linear, for a system of particle translational. But if every point, if this center remains as it is, but every point is making circle around it. This way, this way, this point is moving this way, this point is moving this way and these are their centers making this line. So, these are moving this way. So, this will make a circular motion. Now, this point you see, it is not moving in the line or in the transit. So, this is not a linear motion. It is a circular motion for one point and for the complete system it will be known as rotational motion. Now, there can be a combination of motion as we see in the wheel of our car. This is car wheel, this is point A, <clears throat> this is point B and this is point C. After it goes here, what we find? It is point C, here is point A, here is point B. What has happened? 
it has moved like this. This is what? Rotational motion. So A has rotated and gone to bottom. What type of motion it is? Rotational. But at the same time we see that this center was here. Now it is here. So there is a translatory motion also. When the motion is of this type where it is a combination of translatory plus rotational then we call it rolling motion. We will use the word for this rolling. So rolling means this just rolls, general language we use it. So in physics what is it is having? It is having a rotational motion as well as a translational motor and it happens in system of particles not for a single particle. A single particle basically cannot rotate cannot rotate because it has to make a circle. So it will make a circular motion. So a single particle cannot, it is one particle, it has no diameter. If it has no diameter then it cannot translate in this way. So who makes a rolling motion? Is it a system of particle or a single particle? Yes, it has to be a system of particles. Minimum two particles are required. Then they will make a rolling motion like this. Okay, another example. See here. If this is moving like this, this is surface A, this is surface B. After some time, again we find this is surface A, this is surface B. This is, okay, I will mark it this way. Uh, this is A, this is B, this is C, this is D. So again, this is A, B, C, D. And here again, I find it is same order A, B, C, D, same order. So this type of motion is sliding motion. Sliding. Now suppose... I see it here this way and now it is A, B, C, D. Again I see it here, it is A, B, C, D. What's happening? Here A, it has come here. That means it has A has turned this way. Here A has turned this way and next A will go this way. This is rotation as well as it is moving forward. So what will we call it? Rolling. So this is a rolling motion. In rolling motion, you observe one thing. Here, who was in contact? A. 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 So when the contacting surface is not changing, then we call it sliding. When the surface in contact keeps on changing continuously, A, then D, then C, then B. Then we will call it rolling. So, how do we differentiate between sliding and rolling? In rolling, the surface of the body in contact with the moving surface keeps on changing continuously. But in sliding, the two surfaces in contact remain same. This is sliding motion. So we have seen linear motion, translatory motion, circular motion, rotational motion, sliding motion and rolling motion. These are the terms we are going to use and single particle and system of particles. A flexible body and a rigid body. So system of particles we will study with reference to rigid body. Now when a rigid body is making a rotational motion, then what are the other terms which are involved in this? What is the meaning of axis? What is the meaning of sense of rotation? That we will see in the next lecture. Thank you.